So how can we use pointers in our advantage to iterate over an array? Well, first things first, let's try and define our problem. We have this array and like usual we want to print every single element in this array, right? So the usual thing you would do is just declare an i and then using a for you would do i equals zero less than n i plus plus and just print f um, the, the element inside the array, right? And we know this works because we've used it before and as you can see right here, it shows all the elements of the array. But what uh, if we want to use pointers? How, how would that go? Well, first, let's take a look at how this array looks in memory, all right? So if I type in this piece of code here, you'll notice that I'm printing out the start address and the end address, which you, you can get using um, the ampersand operator and refer to the first element and then ampersand to the last element, right? So if we try to run this, we will print the start address and the end address. It's just some numbers, just some uh, number that represents where inside your computer is stored uh, that data. But what we can find out is that the difference between the end address and the start address, so the, the address of the last element and the address of the first element, the difference is actually 16. So there are basically 16 bytes between those. And that's normal because we have, well, the first address refers to this element, right? So, and the last address refers to this one. In between those two addresses, there are 16 bytes. Well, what, what do those bytes represent? Well, they represent an integer, an int, which is allocated on four bytes. So we have basically 16 divided by four integers. So that's four integers between those two addresses, which means we can use that to actually, alloc to actually um, go over the array using just pointers, because it's allocated in a manner that we can just uh, iterate over using uh, using a pointer. So there is, we first declare a pointer, so in star p, and in the for loop, what we have to do is first instantiate the pointer to the address of the first element in the array. So p equals, what's the address of the first element in the array? It's ampersand array of zero, all right? And uh, what's, what would the condition be? Well, we want the condition, we want the for loop to uh, exit once, we're, once we've iterated over the last element. So we want p to be less or equal than the address of last element, right? We want to go over the last element, of course, but after that we don't want to go because, well, we don't want to iterate over that because we would get a six cycle. Uh, many issues will arise. All right, and if you remember uh, the property of pointers, if you um, increment a pointer, you don't increment it by one if you do p++, right? You don't increment it by one, you increment it by one. Let me just type this. So p++ is really p equals p plus one times the size of the type of that pointer. In our case, our pointer is of type int. So we are basically uh, incremented our p value by four. And that's, that's nice because that means that we're going to, to this address and the next one will be at 36 where we can find the value eight. The next one will be 40. We can find the value nine there and so on up until 48 where we can find 11. And after that, we don't iterate over it, over that uh, value. So now if we try to print F this, percent D, and now instead of R of I, what we do is just dereference that pointer. So we can just say star P. And that says, go to the address of P and get me the value that's in there, that's stored in there, right? 
Otherwise, it would if you don't uh, add the um, asterisk, then it would be just the address itself. All right. So if we try to run this, um, yeah, let me just add a new line character here. If we try to run this, you will notice that we get the exact same result. So this one is actually equivalent with this one, right? What we did here is equivalent. Um, and if we try to just print out the addresses, you can just remove that star. And if you run this now, you'll notice that we were iterated over these addresses. So that's exactly what we wanted. So the first address is, it ends in 16, like so from up top. And then it goes over by four because of uh, this property of pointers in general. If this was, for example, uh, a long long, which is on eight bytes, it would be one times eight instead of one times four. So we'll go, over, uh, we'll go at the address 16 and then we would jump to 24, for example. But in our case, we just jump over four bytes every time. And after we iterated over the value at address 32, we just exit out of the for loop. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you understand something from uh, this lesson.